Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of finding the basis of a null space of a particular matrix. Alright, so here's the matrix we're given in the problem. I want to find the basis for the null space of this thing, so I want to augment this with zeros over here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put an augment, I'm going to imagine there's an augmented row of zeros over here. Zero, 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 zero. And of course the row operations we perform over here won't change anything, so I'm going to suppress that zero, zero, zero just to keep the problem nice and clean, right? And so the first observation we're going to make about A is that note row two and row three are opposites of each other. So row two is negative row three. So what I'm going to do immediately in this problem is I'm going to add row two and row three together and get a row of zeros, and I'm going to put that row of zeros at the bottom, right? So put the row of zeros at the bottom. That's going to be our first part of the problem. And so what will that change A into? That will change A into the following. So my first row won't change, so the first row is still going to be a 1, 1, 3, 0, 1. Again, we're going to suppress the zeros, nothing's going to change there. Then a 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1. This turned into 0, so I'm going to put the row 4 up to row 3. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 1, negative 2, and then zero is below it. Great. Now I have a lead 1 up here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two steps at once. I'm going to do negative row 1 plus row 2, and negative row 1 plus row 3. Okay? So row 1 is going to stay the same. 1, 1, 3, 0, 1. What will happen to row 2? I'm going to get a 0 over here by design. And then I have a negative, so that's going to turn to a negative 2. This is going to be a negative 4. That's going to be just remain a negative 2, because there's a 0 up there. And then negative 1, negative 1 is a negative 2. Okay, great. I'm going to do negative row 1, row 3. That's going to turn to a 0 over here. And then we have a negative, and then 2, that's going to turn to a positive 1. A negative 3, and then a uh, negative 3 plus 1 is a negative 2. Okay. Then we'll have a 0, and then plus row, so that's going to stay a 1. And then the negative 1 and negative 2 is going to be a negative 3. Like that. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. Now, of course, we're in a position here where I want to take all those, ne those even numbers up here and turn those into positives and divide by 2. So I'm going to do 1 half with a negative times row 2. And will that give us a 1, 1, 3, 0, 1. Then a 0, 1. 2, 1, 1, then a 0, 1, negative 2, 1, negative 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Great. Now I'm in a good position because I'm going to do negative row 2 plus row 3. So let's do negative row 2 plus row 3. And will that give us? Negative row 2 plus row 3 will give us a 1, 1, 3, 0, 1. Great. A 0, 1, 2, 1, 1. So then we have neg negative 1 plus 1 is going to be a 0. So it's going to be a 0, a 0. And then I do negative. So we're, what we're doing here is we're doing negative row 2 plus row 3. So it's going to be a negative 2, negative 2. It's going to be a negative 4, negative 4. And then that's going to be a negative 1 minus 1. That's going to be a 0. And then a negative 1, that's going to be another negative 4. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, great. And now we're in a great shape because I'm going to take this last equation over here where there's negative 4 and I'm going to scale the third row, negative 1 quarter row 3, and that will give us what we want. So we're going to have a 1, 1, 3, 0, 1. Then a 0, 1, 2, 1, 1. Then a 0, 0, then a 1, 0, 1. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And now we have this in echelon form, right? So now what we can see here is we have our ladder. That's our reduced, so we're in echelon form, row echelon form. Great. And so now what does this tell me about the free variables? This tells me that, of course, what we want to do too now is that we can, um, let's be a little more careful. What I want to do is I want to do um, multiply these other things over here, get, or get rid of the, these numbers above the one over there. So let's do two more intermediate steps over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do negative row 3, negative 2 row 3, plus row 2. And I'm going to do negative 3 row 3, plus row 1. Okay, and what will that give me? So now we'll go backwards, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 
and then 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay? Now I'm doing negative 2, row 3, plus row 2, that's going to give me a 0 over here, so I'm going to have a 0 and then a 1, then a 0 over here. Then I did negative 2, row 3, so that's a 0 right here. Okay? And then, uh, pl then the plus 1, so that's going to be a 1 over here. Great. And then I have negative 2 plus 1, that's going to be a negative 1, like so. Great. And then now what? And so now I did negative 3, row 3, plus row 1, so that's going to be a 1, then a 1. Then what's going to happen over here? So then I have a negative 3 times this, that's going to be a 0 up top over here. Great. Nothing changes over here, so that's going to be a 0 still. And then I have negative 3 this thing plus this thing, that's going to be a negative 2. Negative 2 like that. Great. And so now what can I do? And so now what we're going to have is we're going to do negative of row 2 plus row 1. Okay? So negative row 2 plus row 1. And what will we get over here? Again, the bottom stays the same, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Then 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Great. Then row 2 is going to stay the same. So 1, 0, 1. Uh, so let's see. So, so that's not quite right. So let's change that. Okay. So then we're going to have a, that's good. And then row 2 is going to be a 0, 1, 0, 1, negative 1. And now what's going to happen? Do I do negative of row 2 plus row 1? I get a 1 up top here. Nothing changes there. That one's going to turn into a 0. Nothing happens over here, so I get a 0 over here. Then this is negative goes over, over here, so negative 1 over here. And that's a positive 1 plus that's a negative 1 over there. And now we see that this is in reduced row echelon form over here. So this is reduced row echelon form. And what does that tell me? Remember, we have augmented with zeros over here. So this is my x1 variable, this is my x2 variable, this is my x3, this is my x4, and this is my x5 variable. So let's write down the solution now. Great. So what will the solution be? So this says that these are x4 and x5 are not in the row with the leading one, so those are free variables, right? Those are my free variables. So we're going to set x4 to be equal to s and x5 to be equal to t. Those are my parameters. And what does that tell me? That tells me that x1, remember that these are equal to 0, right? This tells me over here that x1 is equal to x4 plus x5, x4 plus x5. And so it says that x1 is equal to s plus t. Great. What's x2 equal to? x2 is going to be equal to what? x2 over here is going to be positive x5 and negative x4. So it's going to be negative x4, negative x4, and then plus x5. And so that's going to be a what? That's going to be a negative s plus t. And then finally, um, what do we have over here? Uh, and I have one thing that's missing over here. I have missed, this is actually a 1. So this number over here is a 1. That's not a 0. So that should be a 1. We can just, all I've done over here is I went from, I've just changed row 2, so row 3 stays the same. So that's actually a 1 still. And finally, what's x3 going to be? x3 is going to be equal to what? x3 is going to be equal to negative x5. Negative x5, which is negative t. Great. So now we can write this out. So we have s plus t for x1. Then we have what? That for x2, we have negative s plus t. Then we have a negative t. Negative t. Then we have an s, and we have a t. Let's factor out the s. So it's s times what? A 1, a negative 1, and then a 0, and then a 1, and then a 0 for the s's. And then the t's come with what? The t's come with a 1, 1, 1, then a 1, then a negative 1, then a 0, then a 1. And therefore, we have found the basis, right? So the basis of the null space of A are just these vectors right over here. So this vector and this vector are the basis. So the null space of A, null space of this matrix A, is the span of these two vectors. The first vector over here is 1, negative 1, 0, 1, 0. And the second vector over here is 1, 1, negative 1, 0, 1. So this is a two-dimensional null space of this matrix. Thank you very much.